Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to solve um, 2020's past paper for ITMC. This is for cadet level. Uh, I've solved first five questions in my first video. I'll be solving the next five questions in this video. So let's quickly get started. Question number six. There are four teams in a soccer tournament. Each team plays with every other team exactly once in each match. The winner scores three points and the loser scores zero point. In the case of a draw, both teams score one point. After all matches have been played, which of the following total number of points is it impossible for any team to have scored? Okay. There are four teams. Let this be A, B, C, and D. Every team is playing uh, with each other. So A team will be play having three matches, B will be having three matches, C will be having three matches, and D will be playing three matches, right? So uh, we have to figure out which score is impossible. For winning, um, they gain three points if it's a draw, they gain one point and if it's um, if they lose it's zero point so what are the possibilities we have to uh, figure out the impossible number that they can have at the end of the uh, match after playing all three matches which number is impossible so in order to uh, find the impossible number i will first of all write the possibilities so four is it possible for a team to score four points if for example a team um, scores one in the first match and then scores zero in the second one and a three in the third one this is a possibility if uh, the team uh, wins in the third match loses in the second one and it's a draw in the first match so four is a possibility this cannot be our choice five five can five be a possibility if a team is playing three matches if one is a draw second one is also a draw and the third one is a win then five can be a possibility so this cannot be our answer because we are looking for impossible events six let's think about six six uh, points means that a team can either win two matches and lose one so they can score a six so c cannot be our answer let's think about a possibility where a team wins in two matches and then it's a draw so seven can also be a possibility the only one that is left is eight let's check wins wins and then we cannot achieve a two here so for sure Eight is our answer. This is an impossible event. Let's move forward to the next question. A diagram shows a shape made up of 36 identical small triangles. What is the small, uh, smallest number of such triangles that could be added to the shape to turn it into a hexagon? So I have made these triangles, let's count these triangles, I've made a hexagon out of it. Let's count these triangles. Let's start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and 18. So 18 is my answer for question number 7. Question number 8. Kanga wants to multiply three different numbers from the following list. Minus 5, minus 3, minus 1, 2, 4 and 6. What is the smallest result she could obtain? So what we can do, I'll go for the largest number and then I'll have one number that is negative. This will give me the smallest number. So I will choose minus 5. I will choose 6 and 4. These are the largest numbers. Is 1 is negative. So this will uh, make it the smallest number. So 5, 4 times 20, 26 times. Minus 20 will be my answer. Okay. So question number 9. Let's have a look. If John goes to school by bus and walks back, he travels for 3 hours. If he goes to school by bus and walks back, 
If he goes by bus, both ways he travels for one hour. So the traveling time by bus is one hour for both ways, half an hour for one way. Okay. So if he is traveling for the travel time is three hours in the first journey, in the beginning, he must have walked 2.5 hours. He must have walked for 2.5 hours and 0.5 hour was the time taken by bus. Okay in order to equate it to three hours. We have to find how long does it take him if he walks both ways. So walking one way gives him, uh, takes him 2.5 hours. Walking both ways will take five hours time. Okay, now let's move forward. Question number 10, a number is written in each cell of a three by three square. Unfortunately, the numbers are not visible because they are covered in ink. However, the sum of numbers in each row and the sum of numbers in two of the columns are unknown. Are known. As shown by the arrows on the diagram, what is the sum of the numbers in the third column? So what we'll do, we'll apply it in trial method. I will put random numbers. 8, 10 and 9 gives me a 27. Then I'll complete the grid. 8, 5, 11 gives me a 24. Since I can repeat the numbers 10, 5, 11, and here I will write 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 10 will be a 20. So I'm left with the last uh, box. It has to be 21 in order to make sure that the rows and columns match the answer. 11 plus 11 plus 21 will give me a 43. So this is the answer to question number 10. So this is it for today. I hope you've understood it. Allah Hafiz.